guys, welcome to Road to Ride. I'm Bubby FPV, and today we're going to be doing a community spotlight. It's been a while since we've done one, but basically a community spotlight is where we react to your videos. So I have searched through the interwebs, through all of the social medias, and I have found the best FPV videos, and I'm happy to share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and get rolling into it with good old freestyle. First up, we have Patrick Watkins with My Year in FPV 23. So it, it seems like it's a drone freestyle compilation, so go ahead and get into it. I always love compilation videos because it just shows like the best of what the pilot has done for whatever period of time that they had. So cool, looks so like we got some talking going on in the beginning. Nice B-roll, always gotta love, gotta, gotta always love B-roll in the beginning. And a crash, <laughs> that was funny. This guy has some really good B-roll segments. We're talking about FPV, but his ground camera work is sweet too. That was really cool how low he went to the ground and did that backwards thing. I always love seeing the drone's shadow in the shot. I don't know, it's just always a cool perspective to see. Dude, this guy's ripping. Um, and I see he's got that no stabilization life, so see? This bando is pretty sweet. I, I don't, I think all of those bandos are like in Europe, which I'm from good old USA, and I, I want to go over to, you know, that side of the world and hit some of those bandos, because you guys have some of the craziest stuff. Nice. He's got that really nice, like, juicy, acro flow going on. It's really like, there's always something going on, which is like, I, I like it. There's never like a little bit of dead space, which is cool. Always doing some trick, always linking up them lines, and oh, there we go, that was pretty sweet. He did a big power loop to Yaspin's Mighty Flip. One of the best combos out there. What really shows mastery in like this video is that you're showing long lines. So you'll, you're basically, you're linking a bunch of really difficult tricks into one line that shows that you have, have those unlocked. Nice little park action. Nice, nice little break in the trees from all the bando stuff. Still ripping the trees, man. I mean, doing all the crazy combos. Back to bando, gotta love it. Dude, sick, sick Maddie dive. Um, that's the one cool thing about like bandos is like, sure, the tricks he's doing are like really difficult and he's doing them really well. But also like the fact that if you crash, you could just end up in some puddle of who knows what bando juices, so good job, man. I mean, I always love watching your stuff. I follow you on Instagram. Next up, we have David FPV with Ramp Up, which I'm assuming means that this video, he's ramping up his skills, ramping up the just the whole freestyle video to another level, so let's go ahead and get this rolling. Sweet, sweet. I love how he's playing with all of the different levels because this bando has, seems like seven stories in it and in the beginning he's just going from the top level to the le next level to the next level. It's really fun just to see how he plays with that type of architecture. Where I'm from I don't have a lot of tall buildings to work with vertically so I'm always working horizontally. So it's really cool to see people play with a building and you know use their style but like in a vertical way which I think is cool. I mean this the rest of this bando has a lot of like good flow as well. Ooh, and he's hit that gap a couple times, which is nice. That's a small little gap, dude. It's always nice to see, kind of like I said with Patrick's video, you know, people doing like impressive gaps or tricks in long lines. And this guy is doing it. He's doing it all. Um, he's doing crazy power loop dives. He's doing some like Maddie dives. Nice. That was, dude, he went up two levels. So he went fium, fium through like really small gaps. Good job, man. I think he's doing this intentionally where he's playing with this gap, but like sitting in the lens flare. I always love when people do that, just like add little nice touches to the video, like going up and just sitting in the lens flare, you know, going back and hitting the gap again. Once again, sitting in the lens flare. It's truly really pretty shots and gotta love it. Great crash at the end, a little slow-mo B-roll. Yeah, he's got HQ J37s. I think they're the best freestyle props, so. A plus in my book, man. Keep it up, that was sick. I wanna see you like rip some other bandos too. And dude, keep doing the vertical thing. I love how you use the space, you know, in that axis. So keep it up, man. Last but not least, in the good old freestyle section, we got Falcon FPV with Next Level is the title. It's funny, the last video and this video kind of have similar titles. This is the next level of FPV freestyle. Let's go ahead and get into it. Nice, starting with the super fast run in the bando. I gotta have the sponsors up there in the beginning. Show some love to your sponsors. Nice. Oh, dude, that was a really small gap. I'm gonna play that again. Um, I I like that. I didn't expect that. So in the beginning, you know, you were just kind of playing outside the building, 
And I think that was like a good intro, you know, he's showing off your sponsors, he's doing some little spang in the background. But then out of nowhere, he just hucks this huge split us and boom! That was cool, man. I like that. I, I love, like, I don't do many tricks when I fly. I just like to hit a bunch of gaps. So seeing people hit gaps like that, it's perfect. It's moi. What's really impressive about this video is how you, like, are diving from really high and the dive gap, the floor underneath it, is not that, like, there's not much space. Like, you know how to just, like, let it sit so you're not hitting the ground, which, which is, it's a really difficult skill to, like, masters throttle control um, and I don't know how many like bandos you have near you or what you you know started practicing on when you were learning but like throttle control here it's really good man awesome awesome video um, so let's wrap to our good old freestyle segment and I, I just want to say um, and I've seen a lot of other people I, I've seen a lot of pilots you know in my day and it's really cool to see like every FPV freestyle nowadays is like really good like all the combos and tricks you guys are doing like the average pilot skill level has definitely gotten really high and i can't just see where it takes you guys next up we have fpv shorts slash reels section this is a shout out to all of our vertical friends fpv shorts have taken off in the last year and it's really cool to see how it's kind of made a new entryway for new pilots because the views and like the stuff that these short videos get, it's just really cool that it exposes much more people to the hobby. So first up we have It's Jack FPV with the impossible reverse ladder dive. Let's get into it. Ooh, dude, that Maddie was nice. Oh, and he dove it again? That's cool. So he basically did a Maddie flip into it, reverse dove it. Is he gonna do, okay. Oh, he almost did it again. Ha, that's pretty impressive. It's, it's a short, so we'll watch it again. Yeah, so he like Maddie flipped into it and then reverse dove it and then went up and split us and dove it again. Yeah, dude, that was, um, that was really cool. I'm curious how many attempts that took you or if you were just like flying and like, ooh, I'm gonna do this sick Maddie flip and then a dive again. But dude, awesome clip, awesome clip for sure. Next up in FPV shorts, we have D3B8 with a, another close call. So we're ripping. Looks like we got a little school action. Ooh, a little, a little replay. Dude, he like, he totally trimmed that grass a little bit right there and he got really close to himself. So I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad the drone's okay. Um, definitely a close call. <laughs> nice, getting some, getting some slalom action in those, uh, between those pillars. This is a long short. I like this short. It's a little bit long. I like it. Nice. I love the flip landing. Always gotta have the flip landing. Yeah, dude, that was definitely a really close call. I'm watching it again. I mean, you guys can see, like, there's like a plant standing right in front of him, and it just goes by and, like, cuts it off. So, cool video, man. Really cool. Next up on FPV shorts category, we have and Andrew FPV, I probably butchered that <laughs> and I apologize, but let's see what you got. This is going to be an Instagram reel. So, you know, both short form contents. This is called uh, The Colors Through the Window. That's a really pretty shot, man. This, this definitely shows how skilled you are in like color grading and just making the footage look really good. The dive was awesome, you know, awesome movements for the cinematic line, but your post-processing and whatever you do in post looks really good. I love the, the color of the water looks good. And it looks kind of, ooh, he did a, he looped the video nicely. So at the end of the line, he did a little backflip and it looped great in the beginning. So I wanna, well, I wanna watch the beginning again. I wanna see the, I wanna see the colors through the window. It's so quick in the beginning, I didn't see it. That, that is, I mean, the title, the description that you have definitely suits it. The colors through the window. As he goes through that first castle area, I mean, you could just see the ocean, vibrant blue, and the sunset, a really nice orange. So, dude, sick cinematic line, keep it up. I wanna see, like, you incorporate, like, some wave stuff. I think it would've been really cool if you come down and, like, somehow time a wave crashing over. That'd've been sick, man, but keep it up. Great work, man. And then our last section that we have is called FPV Chasing. I don't think we've done this section before in a community spotlight, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but basically, FPV Chasing, we're showing you guys some really cool 
FPV drone chase shots. So if it's chasing you know, a car or if it's chasing a, a RC plane, whatever it is, these are some of the coolest FPV chase shots that I found. So here we go. First in this category is Tricky FPV and he is chasing little RC drift cars. So I've seen Ciotti do this a bunch. He does it a lot where he like uses a tiny whoop and chases like RC cars. And it's a really cool shot. And this, uh, and Tricky FPV is also doing the same thing. He's getting really low and like really close to the cars. And like, if you stand back and blow your eyes, it kind of looks like real drift cars, which is funny. We're just missing the smoke. Um, but, <laughs> dude, that was cool how he incorporated that little gas station and flew through it. Sick, man. I don't know if he's just sitting in like the ground effect of the drone, but I, I assume it's pretty difficult to keep the drone that low to the ground. Um, whatever it is, it looks really cool. I recently got a, a little RC drift car. They are a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. So I guess when I go out, I gotta hit you up to get some shots for me, man. Cool, getting to the end of this video. See how he ends it? Nice. Just, just flew up and just kind of showed the car drifting away. It's so cool how like you use the tiny whoop drone to get like real full scale looking shots with you know RC drift car. So that was sick, man. Um, you know, what'd be really cool. Get a replica of a real drift car in real life, chase that drift car, and then like do a transition to where it switches or something to the RC car. I think that'd be a really cool shot. So keep it up, man. That was awesome. Right, next up, we got Dubois FPV. I might be saying that wrong, um, but with the Cotton Bowl Speedway, so I'm assuming that's the speedway that he's at. Cool, man. This, these are like off-road race cars. Like, I feel like when I see race cars that look like this, they're on concrete or asphalt, but these are on dirt, so they should be getting some really cool like sideways drifting action. Let's see. Yeah, and exactly up, yeah, sweet. They are doing like really cool drift shots and that one has smoke coming from it. I hope it's okay. But yeah, I'm, the, the shots you're getting are just like really nice smooth shots that kind of show the race. And then you also have some shots where you're getting closer to the cars and showing off your scale and how much you can like, you know, maneuver the cars. But I don't know if like you do this for live stream work or something, but it looks really good. And I like your GoPro settings, I like the motion blur that you got on there. I'm curious, did, like, how did you get into this? Like, do you also drive these race cars? Because that'd be pretty cool if like, you were a race car driver and then you're like, oh, I want to get footage of another car. Let me just get an FPV drone up. But dude, sweet video, man. Keep it pushing. Next up in our FPV chasing category, we have FPV Thomas Anderson with Bike Life Wonderin' FPV Wheelie Chase. Long title. All right, getting into it. I like the non 16 by nine. I. I, I was, like, I've seen like short films done in non 16 by 9 I think it looks cool. All right, here we go. We're getting into it. Nice. Good job keeping the, uh, the subject in, like, the middle of the screen. I see that a lot where, like, the subject will be, like, in the bottom left corner or the top right corner. But you're doing, doing a really good job of, like, keeping the subject centered so that I guess also in post if you needed to you can like reframe of where you ever wherever you need him so good job of that part and also shout out to the scooter driver or bike driver because he's like getting getting way out there he's got his leg up and I didn't know that these type of it looks like a scooter to me it might be a motorcycle um, but I didn't know these machines could do that I know motorcycles can but like a scooter I didn't know you could wheel a scooter that's pretty cool Ooh, you got really close to that tire. He was doing like circles and he flew right under it. That's cool. I've always wanted to try that. Um, I think it'd be a really cool shot. It'd be cool if you like slow mode it too so we could like, yeah. Nice, nice orbit. And yeah, I like the colors here. They're not like super moody or anything, but it just looks like a really good natural, you know? So, sick video, man. Oh, and he crashed the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love ending the video with a crash. Cool. And then last but not least in this uh, category, kind of like an honorable mention. You guys all saw the F1, you know, FPV drone chase. This is the Dutch drone gods, and this is what they posted to their YouTube channel. It's just the whole one video from start to end of them chasing Liam Lawson. So all of you people who think it's fake, I think it's pretty real. We have the whole whole one shot here. So. I'm getting into it. 
I mean, yeah, it, this is like one of the greatest FPV chases pretty much ever done. I mean, I know you guys are like really good at flying FPV, but also just the technical aspect of it that you guys had to overcome. I'm excited to see what you guys do next of pushing the boundaries of what FPV can do, whatever crazy contraptions you guys build to film something cool. Um, I hope you guys keep posting more videos about it because it is really interesting. That is going to be it for the FPV chasing category as well as this full community spotlight. Guys, there are links in the description to everyone's video that we played. Make sure to go click the link, subscribe, like the video, put a comment on the video. Always going to support the FPV homies. And let us know in the comments down below which video you liked best. That's it for this community spotlight. I'm Bubby FPV, and we'll see you next time on Rotorite.